This learning object is a production of Abu Dhabi Men's College, Center of Excellence for ICT and Learning Technology. We're here today to do a practical lab on the Festo pneumatics equipment. Today's practical is using the Festo Fluid Sim software to create a simulation of our pneumatic circuit. We're placing our compressor symbol from our library of components. Now we're putting in our filter and gauge or our air service unit. And now we're putting in our cylinder, which is a single acting spring return. We can move our components around to suit the layout of the circuit. Now we're putting in our directional control valves which will control our cylinder. And this is a three two-way valve. By right clicking on our valve we can adjust the properties of the valve. So in this case we're going to have a push button with a detent which holds it in position. And our next valve is also going to be a three two-way valve. But in this case we'll be using a push button rather than the detent and a spring return so I select the spring option and our symbol changes to reflect the spring attached to the valve. Now we connect our ports using a line drawing function which would simulate our pneumatic hosing in our real circuit that we'll be looking at in a minute. Once we've connected the hoses or the lines we can then simulate the operation of the circuit using a animation function by just pressing the play button we get a warning message about our open connections which are not going to affect the circuit in this particular case. We see the dark uh, blue line which indicates the air pressure and the light blue means no air pressure. By pushing the button we then get pressure supplied to the cylinder and the cylinder moves. We'll do that for real on our Festo uh, boards in the lab. We've got an air supply unit here with a pressure regulator, filter, pressure gauge. Uh, we've got a, another pressure gauge here, a single acting cylinder, a three two-way valve, another three two-way valve which is our supply on-off and a manifold to distribute our air supply. We're going to be using this pneumatic hose to connect up our circuit and I'll do that now. So we just push in the, uh, the hosing, taking note of the port numbering, which should match our simulation that we had on the computer. And our pressure gauge here will give us an indication when we've got air supply into the cylinder. So now I've connected, I'll switch on the supply. And if I press this button, nothing happens. But if I turn on our master supply here, press the button, we get the cylinder extend and air pressure shown here, which then drops. And this is a spring return cylinder, so that uh, pulls the cylinder back. If I switch this master control off, our uh, cylinder now does not operate. 